Hey y'all, Carpet Beggar here. I am in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, looking for something that I hope is still here. Follow me. It was completely gone. Stick with me though. Okay, I found one. Pay close attention. See that? That is a Toy and Bee tile embedded there in the asphalt. And that is in the middle of a cross section, so I gotta be careful not to get run over filming it. Alright, I'll try to get a closer look here when I get a walk signal. Alright, Toy and Bee, Resurrect, Jupiter. Alright, what that's supposed to say is Toy and Bee idea in movie 2001 Resurrect Dead on planet Jupiter. Now you may think that sounds insane and you may be right because that does sound insane but the interesting thing is here is these tiles have been appearing all over america in all major cities there was one that was found only a block from the white house they started um, popping up in the early 1980s and then i think i think they've stopped reappearing i think in the 2007 maybe i heard is when the last one appeared they were made out of like asphalt and they embed into the road and they actually stay there unless they're removed or paved over and no one has been able to definitively find who or what is planting these or who or what that even means that very strange uh whatever it is a very strange saying some people say that they feel like it's a reference to uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, talking about bringing people back to life on the planet Jupiter. I don't know. You can go down a real dark rabbit hole with this because, uh, yeah, there's tons of theories out there. There's a whole documentary that's pretty interesting who claims that they figured out who laid the Toy B tiles, but again, it's a full documentary. I can't go into every theory and detail here, but very cool to see one in person. I think the, the documentary says that they think that someone's dropping them through a hole in the bottom of a car and they're planting themselves in the street and they get run over and just help flatten them and make them part of the street. But a lot of cities will just remove them. I know Chicago immediately scrapes them up the second they appear. And uh, they've been found all over South America as well. Interesting when someone spreads a message like that and no one is really even clear what that message is. But so cool to like finally see one myself. I think um, there was one found somewhere, I think in Venezuela, that had an address on it. And the address went back here to Philadelphia. But everyone associated with that address denied um, knowing anything about the Toy and Bee tiles. So, where do we go from here? <laughs> yeah, absolutely crazy. Um, I don't know how many are left. I know that there was, if there's a few in this area, I guess Philadelphia does try to preserve them to some degree because, I guess, because that address it is believed that they do originate from the Philadelphia area. So it's a part of Philadelphia heritage, a very creepy, mysterious part of Philadelphia history. So anyway, let me know if you guys know where any more of these crazy, insane tiles are. Appreciate you guys watching.